Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this table of contents for your website using HTML and CSS. So here we can see we have these main headings over here and then we have these subheadings and then we have the main headings and subheadings and for some sections we just have the main headings and if I click on any of these uh, headings or subheadings we are taken to that section in our article. So this is what we're going to design in this video. Let's get started. All right, here I have created this folder called table of contents and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's go ahead and create the necessary files. So let's create an HTML file and I'll just name it index.html and let's also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css. Right, let's start with the index.html file and in VS code you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Right, let's link our CSS file over here and now let's start with the markup of our design. But first of all, I'll just copy and paste this article to our code. Right here, I have copied the article and here we have all the headings and the subheadings. So for the subheadings, we have an S3 and for the headings, we have an H2. And here we can see that for all of the headings and subheadings, we have an ID. Now we're going to use these IDs to go to the correct section in our article when we click on the table of contents. Let's go ahead and add some basic styles to this. So first of all, let me just open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see this is how the article looks right now. Now let's go ahead and add some CSS. So let's go to the style or CSS file and let's add some CSS to the HTML. And first of all, let's set the font family to Roboto. And uh, let's set a max width of 600 pixels. And we'll also bring it to the center. So let's type margin and uh, zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And uh, now let's add some line height between these uh, text. So let's type line height and I'll just set it to 1.8 and I think that looks all right. Right now let's go ahead and write the markup of this uh, table of contents. So let's go back to our HTML and uh, here before this uh, page content division, let's go ahead and create a division with the class of table of contents. And in that for uh, the heading, which is this heading right here, we will create an H2 with a class of TOC heading. And here let's type table of contents. And for each of the headings, let's create a container division. So let's create a division with a class of headings container. Now in this we'll create an unordered list. So let's type UL. And in that we will have list items for each of these headings. So let's type LI. And uh, let's create an anchor tag. Now here for the href, we need to type the ID. So the first heading is going to be for future of AI. And for that, we have this ID of future AI. So we need to type hash future AI. And here we need to add the heading. So let's type the future of AI. And now we can see that we have this heading right here. And if I click on that, we are taken to that section. But we also need to have smooth scrolling. So let's go back. And for the CSS in the HTML, let's type scroll behavior and let's set it to smooth. And now if we click on feature of AI, we are smoothly taken to that section. Now here we can see that there are subheadings for this. So we have one, two, three subheadings. So what we will do is inside this LI, we'll create another UL. So let's type UL. And here let's create an LI and let's type anchor tag. Now this anchor tag is for this subheading. So we need to type understanding basics. So let's type hash understanding basics. Right now let's go ahead and copy this uh, heading from here. And I'll just paste it over here. And now we can see that we have this subheading and uh, we need to have three subheadings. So let's copy this LI from here and let's paste it two more times. And the next subheading is for current applications. So let's copy this heading from here. 
and uh, for the second one let's type hash current applications and let's copy the heading over here and uh, then lastly we have this subheading ethical considerations of AI development so I'll just copy this from here and for the ID we have ethical considerations so I'll just paste the title over here and here let's type ethical considerations and now we can see we have the main heading and then we have these three subheadings and if I click on any of these we are taken to that section right now let's go ahead and uh, do the same for all the other headings so if you scroll down and uh, here we can see that the next main heading is AI and the job market so we can go ahead and do the same thing so I'll just copy this uh, ID from here and uh, here what we can do is go outside this uh, UL and outside this LI and here we need to create another LI for the main heading and uh, let's create an anchor tag and here let's copy the ID and here we can type AI and the job market and now if we go back to our design here we can see that we have the main heading over here so in this way you can go ahead and create all these headings and subheadings using these uh, unordered lists so I'll just quickly go ahead and create all these uh, unordered lists for all the headings and subheadings right here we have created all these unordered lists so we have all the headings and subheadings over here now let's go back to our design and this is how it looks and all these links are working all right right now let's go ahead and style this using CSS let's go to our styler CSS file and uh, let's target the container division which is uh, this division with the class of table of contents so let's type table of contents and for the container division I'll just add a margin bottom so let's tap margin bottom and let's set it to 40 pixels right now let's style this heading so for the heading we have this class of TOC heading so let's tap table of contents TOC heading and for the heading let's type font size and let's set it to 24 pixels and uh, let's set the font weight to bold and uh, let's set the color of the text to 003049 right now let's style all these anchor tags so let's target them let's tap table of contents A and uh, first of all let's remove the underlines so let's tap text decoration and let's set it to none and uh, let's set the color of the text to 18445F now let's go ahead and style the UL so let's type table of contents UL and let's remove these bullets so let's type list style and let's set it to none now let's remove the default padding on the left side so let's type padding left and let's set it to zero right now let's style these main headings so for the main headings we have a different styling so let's go back to our HTML and here we can see for the main headings we have this class of heading and for the subheadings we have a class of subheading so here we can see for all the main headings we have a class of heading so let's target this class heading so here I'll just type table of contents heading and let's set the font size to 14 pixels and I will set the font weight to bold and let's set the color of the text to 003049 and uh, let's set the text transform to uppercase and uh, this is how it looks right now let's style these subheadings so for the subheadings we have this class of subheading so let's go ahead and target that here I'll just type table of contents subheading and for the subheading let's type font size and let's set it to 16 pixels and we will add a little bit of padding on the left side so let's set the padding to 4 pixels so now we can see we have this uh, different styling for the subheadings now here we need to add some margin between these uh, elements so let's go back and uh, let's target the li inside the ul so let's tap table of contents 
ul li and uh, let's set the margin to 16 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to have this line on the left side and we need to have these dots and these hyphens. So let's go back and uh, let's go ahead and add a border left to the container division of the headings. So for the headings we have this container of headings container. So I'll just target that. I'll just have table of contents headings container and let's set a padding left of 16 pixels so that we have some gap from the left side and let's add a border left and let's set it to one pixel solid and for the color let's set it to d5 ed f4 so here we can see we have this line on the left side i'll just change the color a little bit so we can just hover over this and change the color. So I'll just change this to this color right here. Let's see how it looks. And I think that looks all right. Now let's go ahead and add these dots and these hyphens. So for that we will use before selectors. For the main heading we have a class of heading. So here we can see we have the heading selector. Now what we will do is we'll create a before selector. So let's type table of contents, heading, colon colon before now with the before selector you can add any content to the elements on the left side so if I just type one two three here we can see that one two three is displayed before all these main headings so I'll just go ahead and remove this content from here and let's add a dot so we will have the position of this before selector relative to this heading so here we need to type position relative and here we need to type position absolute and here let's set the height to 8 pixels and the width to 8 pixels and uh, we need to have a round shape so let's tap border radius and let's set it to 50 percent and we also need to have a background color so let's set the background color to 219 ebc and here we can see that we have these dots now we need to move it to the left side so let's tap left and uh, let's set it to negative 20 pixels now it is at the top of this uh, heading so we need to bring it to the center vertically so we need to type top and let's set it to 50 percent now we can see that it starts from the 50 percent mark so we also need to type transform translate y and you need to set it to negative 50 percent and now we can see that it is exactly in the center vertically so that's it with the styling of the main headings now let's style this subheading. So for the subheading we have this uh, hyphen. Now it is almost the same code. So let's go ahead and copy this code from here. I'll just copy all of this from here. And I'll just paste it down here. And here I'll just change this to subheading. And here instead of border radius I'll just remove it. Because we don't want to have rounded corners. And for the height I'll just set it to 2 pixels. And uh, let's go back to our design. And we need to have a position of relative to this subheading. So let's tap position relative. Now here we can see that we have these uh, hyphens. Let's move it to the right a little bit. So I'll just right click over here and go to inspect. Let's select this and let's click on before. And I'll just try different left values. So I think this looks all right. Left of negative 17 pixels. So here let's tap negative 17 pixels. And this is how it looks. So that's how you can style this table of contents for your website using HTML and CSS. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.